vanilla bean and I think chocolate. My mother-in-law, she likes a lot of cheeses and so she buys a lot of this kind of stuff. So a little bit different, but it was a Wonder Woman costume and it was six bucks. <laughs> Hey friends, Sarah here. Welcome back to our channel. Today I have a grocery haul for you guys. This week's grocery haul is actually really exciting because I do have a few big purchases and some non-grocery related stuff which is usually a main part of my grocery haul as well as some new and unique like food th foods that I don't typically buy but this week we actually have a special guest. My mother-in-law is here. Though you guys won't be seeing her on camera because she's camera shy. She doesn't like to be on camera like that. If you're into grocery hauls, continue watching. Don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up and also if you're new, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. I do like to showcase my grocery hauls on here, whether it be just like a standalone grocery haul or a haul within a vlog. So definitely subscribe for more hauls. Guys, one of the first things that I noticed in this haul is this um, little snack. I don't typically like to start off with like the sugary stuff because for those of you looking for like all the nutrition stuff, um, you might get turned off. But honestly, this my hauls are always filled with a lot of nutritional goodies. So keep watching. But I wanted to show you guys this because a, it's a perishable, so it needs to get in the fridge ASAP, and B, it looks so nice and tasty. This is this mochi, it's an ice cream. I've heard of this, but I have not tried it. So, um, hubby and his mom picked up two boxes. Vanilla bean and I think chocolate. This is gonna be like our dessert for later, so we did pick up two boxes of those. Because we're a big family of seven, and now we have an extra mouth, so we definitely need, like, you know, more than less. We also grabbed our traditional ice cream bars. These are the organic fudge bars. They're most often a part of my grocery haul because they are a very good snack. They're low in sugar, sodium, and all that jazz. We picked up two bags of milk. We've gone back to picking up two bags, y'all, because for some reason, they just keep disappearing, so we grabbed two. So if you're a big cheese fan, let me know down below if you're into, um, if you've ever tried this cheese. So this is a Royal Canadian Cheddar. So I'm assuming this cheddar, this cheese is probably only sold in Canada, because that's where I reside. This is a Canadian grocery haul, so things in my haul might be very different than things you will find in the US. This is not something that we buy on the regular. I know cheeses are super expensive, but we do like different cheeses, but this one is not one that we typically buy. My mother-in-law, she likes a lot of cheeses and so she buys a lot of this kind of stuff, so I'm excited to try it. I'm pretty sure we've probably had this before at her house. We haven't bought this one in a while. I'm not even sure if we bought this brand, this brand at Kirkland, but we've bought Brie, well, sometimes, we buy Brie sometimes at our local grocery store. We got some pudding as per usual. It's been a minute since we picked up our sweet kale salad, so we picked up one of those. I actually asked Happy to pick up two. <laughs> it's one of the worst when you help people to pick up multiple of certain things that you know is gonna go and they only pick up one, but it's okay. We grabbed one of those. We also picked up some whipped cream, three chocolate milks, sprouts this week, and we also picked up some baby carrots. I'm actually on the fence about this, but you know what? Um, so I don't know, sometimes we go back and forth. These are a favorite, but I actually had to like rush to use the last package we had so they didn't go bad. We grabbed some lettuce, some avocado, two packages of bananas. This reminds me of last week because we have been buying two packages because we're baking a lot. Two packages of bagels. It's usually sesame and um, everything, but this one looks like a cheese one. We bought the famous brioche buns. These are really, really good. I don't eat them, but I do know what they taste like, and they're deadly. Like, just one of those things that you can keep eating. Um, and these are actually hamburger buns. We grabbed some croutons and some thinsters. Um, yeah, you guys know that this is kind of new to us. We bought about, this is our third time buying this. We grabbed two of those. We grabbed two high ch packages of high chews. Guys, and if you were watching from last week's, if you're watching last week's haul, you would have heard me say, I don't want to get any more candies. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, hubby called me and we were FaceTiming when we were in agreement to get these for the kids. So we did get two of the Skittle packs with Starburst in it, and then we also grabbed some chocolate for those who like chocolate instead. Shout out if you know what it's like. They're trying to lose weight, but you're gaining pounds right around this time of the year. 
it's just, it's the worst because there's candies everywhere we have to just you and i we've got this we're gonna have you know bust out our willpower and refuse avoid not touch any of the candies in sight even though it's gonna be really really hard so this week we also grabbed some protein shake as per usual we grabbed some chicken thighs because i've been making chick like fried chicken um in my pot on the our new stove and it is amazing so um, and I've been making thighs and they come out kind of crispy and fried like oh my gosh but we're gonna make one package of those because we do have guests but then we're gonna um, separate the other package and put it away I actually think I might have to still divide some of the first one so this is something new for us as well this is something new that we're gonna try but I'm pretty sure my mother-in-law eats this gets this all the time we also picked up this apple pie rolls I let me know if you've tried this below it even comes with like a caramel dipping sauce this is like a little mini dessert that we might have today between this and the ice cream we also grabbed some lacy cookies these are the famous cookies that kind of come out around Christmas time they are our family's favorite cookies but now they seem to come out like it's just September and they're already out but I do know people like to you know stock up on them we also grabbed some muffins we also grabbed some Nesquik because we've been out for a minute. We also picked up some nuts. I got a, I've got, got um, unsalted cashews as well as my unsalted mixed nuts. And I love to have both of these things on hand. We also picked up a case of bubbly. And this is like the typical one that we, we get with those three flavors. Here, so this is also very new to us. Um, I can't tell the last time I've even had a Snapple. So... I'm sure the kids will really, really love this. It'll be a nice treat. So guys, I stand corrected. This is called San Pellegrino. Just the colors alone had me thinking it was Snapple. So that's why my mind went there. But this is our first time trying this. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you've tried this before. It seems to have um, pomegranate in it. And it's what? Oh, it's a sparkling pomegranate and orange beverage, it says. So guys, of course, like I like I always say in every haul, of course, you we cannot go to Costco without typically picking up other things. Well, there are things that we still needed that were not food, like the baby was in need of diapers and wipes. I like to pick these things up there because they come in a large box. And when I pick them up, I kind of forget, forget about it. I don't have to run out all the time to do like crazy diaper shopping and wipe shopping or nor do I ever really run out like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> um, some other things that I like to buy that way are um, cleaning products like toilet bowl cleaners, um, Lysol wipes, disinfectant wipes, because with little ones, it's really good to have that at hand to wipe down surfaces and knobs and all that kind of stuff. So I grabbed a bunch of those. So diapers, size four, because Abby's in size four, a case of wipes. And then, but then I picked up a case of this stuff to, for my toilet. We have four bathrooms in our house, and so we usually have one in every bathroom. So this is a book, actually. Um, we didn't purchase this. My mother-in-law actually purchased this for one of the girls, and I think it was for Michaela, and that's like a little treat for her. So that's, yeah, that's that. You guys, the next product I've been on a hunt for for a very long time. Honestly, since the beginning of this whole, you know what, I've been in search of these products and I couldn't find them and I just, well, I'm just seeing them for the first time in a very, very long time. Yes, guys, it's Lysol wipes. Oh my gosh, something as basic as this you think would be available at hand, but they were, you know, they were in need, I guess, and we just couldn't find them. I have to say though, the packaging, this one is like condensed because the one that we usually buy was like double this amount. So I don't know what's up with that. But I'm, beggars can't be choosers, and I'm very thankful that we were able to get um, six, is it six, two, four, six? Yep, six large packages. This next item is a cute little costume for Zoe. It's that season, and they are, lots of costumes are out. I just saw a similar costume for her inside of the, inside of the secondhand store, but it was a little bit different, but it was a Wonder Woman costume, and it was six bucks. I think these are 20, I think these are 20 bucks at Costco, but this is really, really cute though it's looking kind of small for five six I don't know babes went shopping with his mom and one of I think Gabrielle and they picked out the sizing 
because that is the size that she's wearing so there's no wrong in that however if i was with i would have probably looked and changed the size a little bit just because it looks so petite i don't know what's up with that the suit that she currently has that she loves to wear she's busting it out in a size three four and she's only three so i would have probably gone another size up but i think it's okay we'll see we'll try it on her and see how it fits anyways Moving into this last item, guys, I wanted to get another rug carpet for the playroom area downstairs. We did get one, but we needed two, given that we were breaking up the area a little bit. However, when, we, when Hubby was there today, they didn't have the rug that we wanted, so they picked up something else. Let me show it to you. So guys, look at this rug. It's a huge, huge carpet. I decided to show it to you over here just because there's a lot of natural light coming in through my window, but look how soft this is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Can I sleep on it? <laughs> This is gonna be like a little play area for the kids like this is the kind of rug that Zabby can roll over Just bonk his head and I won't feel worried Not that I want that to happen, okay, but I'm so excited about this I'm excited to put it downstairs to see what it looks like because it's a nice tan I don't have anything this this um tan, but I might even throw it over here just to see what it looks like <laughs> Don't you like that when you buy something for somewhere else and then I know it's like oh it's like hey, nice yeah. here. You get ideas. I mean, oh uh, it's I'm nice. Beautiful. I'm just gonna be reading on this mm -hmm. thing all day. <laughs> it's soft, huh? It is very soft. It is soft. so soft. It feels like petting a groomed bear. Right? You know? Mm hmm Anyways guys, that brings us to the end of our haul. Um, I'm excited about this haul because I thought it, it was just jam-packed with a lot of fun and interesting things. Let me know if you have um, purchased any of the things that were featured in today's video because I gotta run and get this stuff in the freezer ASAP. I don't, I hate like, you know, but the fact that I do grocery hauls, it means that my grocery hauls take a little bit longer to get into the fridge so I gotta be really fast. I gotta be quick with the filming and quick with the stocking the fridge so um this is what i do for you guys hope you guys so it's the next day and i wanted to actually include this stuff in the grocery haul because it's basically another day later and um hubby stopped at the grocery store to pick up some stuff and there are a few things that i wanted that we grabbed there so one thing that i wanted to get are these like all white flats i know it's fall but these are out at costco right now they're 29.99 but i have been meaning to get a pair of white um, shoes just to wear with my jeans and stuff like that in size 8 we went ahead and we picked up another one of the rugs we do have the other one currently on the sofa it didn't even make it downstairs to where it was supposed to originally it is so soft so we grabbed another one because the other one is currently on our couch I actually might keep it across it because it's very much like an accent piece and it covers a large amount of space because it's actually a, a good size rug i'll show you where i end up having them in the vlog if you guys watch the vlog stay be on the lookout for that hubby also grabbed these almond toffee clusters and let's see i can tell you who it's for given when it's at. okay so you can have eight pieces for that and it has 75 milligrams of sodium that's pretty neat that's kind of cool so we're gonna try that this is definitely new haven't seen it before I'll let you guys know what that is, uh, what it tastes like. So another thing that he grabbed are these leggings that were there for um, Zoe. They're size 5 and they do have three different colors. The package, there are a bunch of different colors, but the first one always has like a pattern and then the others are pretty plain. So I like this one better. The other one, you know, the other color scheme seemed a little bit boring. Whereas in this has like the colors that she typically wears i think um aaron also grabbed himself a t-shirt he loves this brand it's called lucky i think it's called what's it called oh it's the lucky brand he has one called that says, says lucky number seven which is his favorite number and they're super soft and he's wearing it to the point where it's like super transparent so that's nice that he found himself one and how much was this the 12.99 one thing that i was able to get um at, sorry for not showing myself but y'all it is super late and i look a hot mess so i'm not even gonna attempt to come on camera but one thing that i also grabbed are these snow pants everyone has a pair of snow pants except me i don't go out sledding and stuff half as much as anyone else but I think it's good to have one especially to hike through the snow i'm gonna try it I, and these ones are the ladies ones i actually thought they were men's for some reason 
So that's neat. I'm excited to try that. Another thing that we did grab is this package of pajamas. I know Zoe has a ton of pajamas, um, but she wears them every night to bed. She always changes in pajamas. Growing up, I didn't exactly um, sleep in pajamas. I always slept in like just a basic t-shirt or indoor clothes. Should leave a comment down below and let me know um, if that was you <laughs> because I feel like a lot of people can relate but anyways my kid's very fortunate she does wear pajamas to bed I really like this one the yellow one and then this one is kind of I uh, it's not let's see oh it's right here looks like that it's okay I do prefer her to get like five six not four or five because I find that they do fit they fit well but you know they do fit a little bit snug after you watch after you wash them so they definitely could use a little stretching Another thing that I grabbed was this complete Canadian curriculum for Charlotte. She's still the one, this girl that's being homeschooled, but we are using an online curriculum, but I just use this as an extra to kind of um, supplement like Canadian, Canadian things because the curriculum that we're currently using is actually more American based. So like the history and various things are American based, but this will feature and cover like you know Canadian history as well as geography those are like the two main things that I'm the most concerned about and she's already doing math English and science so another thing that we grab is dog food because we were running low on that so we grabbed this and this package lasts us I think a good two months no two months it lasts us I think a good month at least I think I don't know we just kind of pick it up when we need it so okay so another thing that I grabbed which I need to try are these um, are these fake Ugg boots okay so this is the Kirkland brand it did say that this is made from real what skin it's made from shearling scalloped edge boots it said it's made from like genuine shearling anyways I remember owning a pair of Uggs before and I didn't treat them and I wore them the one winter and then they got ruined so I wanted a pair of tan boots and I got myself a pair for fall very excited about that Mick got herself a pair as well hers are size 7 and mine are size 8 so I still need to try mine to see if they fit so for those of you guys who are wondering why we didn't pick any of uh, any of these up for the girls, it's because they wear um, orthopedics. They have to wear shoes that support their arches. So we do um, try to stick with buying specific brand, you know, according to the suggestion of our podiatrist. So our bookshelves came in for downstairs in the basement. We are going to change them out and then we'll have like a cons consistent sizing for all the bookshelves. We'll show you what we're going to do. But it's basically two bookshelves, but they come. it comes in two parts. So that's why there are four boxes. Had hubby picked up eight of these because I'm going to have to use some to not only store kids' toys in the basement, but also some of the books that are going to be saved for the little ones. But I don't necessarily need them to be displayed on the bookshelf as of now. Yeah, but so I grabbed eight of those. So guys, that concludes this haul. I apologize for not bringing, not presenting my face on camera, but like I said, it was just the night and your girl just looked a hot mess. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's grocery haul because it was a really exciting one. It was jam-packed with a lot of new things and interesting things. You guys leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've tried any of these things or if you've used any of them. Um, even suggest some items that you think I should try or pick up that you guys pick up frequently at Costco. I would love to know. And um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're new and you are into stuff like this. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Maybe it's going to be a grocery haul. Maybe it will be a vlog. Who knows? <laughs> but we'll keep it exciting around here. So enjoy, y'all. Happy weekend.